Hi, my name is Julie Hunman. I'm a retired teacher and volunteer humane educator at the Humane Society of Missouri. I've self-published six children's books that are used in humane education. Humane education involves lessons teaching compassionate and responsible behavior towards animals and people. I was inspired to start writing these books because of my vol volunteer work at the Humane Society and I use the books to accompany lessons and activities we teach there. The story ideas for my books evolve from the Humane Society of Missouri lessons, personal experience with animals, and from concepts children need to learn and can learn more easily with help from our animal friends. Just like the ideas for the books, the characters are based on real animals, real people, and those same concepts we need to learn at an early age. It takes about a year for each book to come to fruition, but I do not do this alone. I am lucky to have the help, advice, and talent of my friend and graphic artist, Elizabeth Wright. Elizabeth and I were introduced in 2015. Since then, we have self-published four books and are presently working on the fifth. I do words. Elizabeth does pictures. It sounds easy, but it gets difficult quickly because we all see things differently. That happens to be the concept behind our fifth book entitled, What We See Differently. Our books can be purchased online from The Novel Neighbor, an independent bookstore in Webster Groves, Missouri. Elizabeth and I have written and illustrated Some Dogs Eat Trees, What's in a Wolf, Different is Just Different, and Cat Care Heroes. I'd like to finish with a piece of advice one of my favorite English teachers gave me. She told me to write for myself. Don't write to get published. Don't write for others' approval. Write for your own reasons and write for your own pleasure. Thank you. Nice chatting. Hi everyone. My name is Elizabeth Wright. I'm a graphic designer and an illustrator and I've illustrated uh, several books with the author Julie Hunman who has written books on uh, how to care for your pets and inclusion both of animals and people in our world today. As an illustrator often I'm asked how do you decide what you're going to draw and, and paint. And so I'd like to talk to you about that idea today by showing you our book, Some Dogs Eat Trees. It's a very, it has very simple text. It's only 20 pages and it's for ages two to six years old. And it takes a humorous look at the subject of what dog should and shouldn't eat. Because the text is made up of very simple ideas such as dogs should not eat raisins or chocolate, I had to think about how can I present the simple text in a way that makes it fun and interesting for the reader and the viewer. And it, it all comes down to the portrayal of the books excuse me, the portrayal of the dogs, since they are the main character, the main characters throughout the book. So as I flip through the pictures, I want to show you some of the things that I did to try and portray the dogs in an interesting way. First of all, I tried to make the all the images very colorful, use bright color throughout. I used a variety of different book, 
different dogs through the book to make it more interesting. And gave expression in the eyes and the bodies of the dogs. And used humor and interesting situations that maybe all of us could relate to. And I showed movement on the pages, even when the dogs aren't moving, things are going on. Here we are at the page, dogs should not eat raisins or chocolate. And we see sort of all the things that I've already talked about. The color, the sort of humorous portrayal, expression in the eyes and the body. And then I ended the book with a party, something we can all relate to. I hope you enjoy the book and share it with all the children in your life.